Yes, there's a few of them. Rosie Hole, he does an MP. The Explosive Heads. Uh, Matthew Green does another MP. And, oh yes, Will Ballbag Montefiore. Sounds like one of us, but isn't. Yes, call it MI5. Make it all look like an accident, won't you? Thank you, cleverly. Cool, Pip. Ah, I'm near my trusty assistant. Root it down, won't you? I already have, sir. So, that thing in the hotel the other night... I've already forgotten about it, sir. You see, I was only resting them there momentarily because I was awfully tired after my big bow. Honestly, it's no problem. The thing is, if Petunia ever found out, it would be the end. I won't say anything. Good boy. Now, what can I do you for? <laughs> Sorry. What can I do you for? <laughs> I've done it again. What can I do you for? Yeah, yeah well, the PM wants to know where you stand on Rwanda. Miranda? Well, we paid her off, didn't we, after the thing? No, no. Rwanda. Yeah, no. Remind me, Rwanda. Who is she? Or who is he? Or who his are they? You can't be too careful these days. <laughs> Rwanda, well, it's, it's a country, Sir Edwin. We have talked about it before. Oh, near Bongo Bongo Land? Yeah, the PM wants your support on the Rwanda policy. Oh, and we do have a Rwanda policy, do we? Yeah. It's sort of been the main thrust of our campaigning for, um, forever. Yeah, really? What about the fox hunting? On the back burner, sir. Um, although many constituents don't like that these days. Yes, I suppose you can't keep killing all the lovely little buggers, can you? Foxes are cute. I wasn't talking about the foxes, Neil. Look, I don't have all day. VP have bought my entire afternoon. Look, what is this Miranda policy you keep banging on about? Well, in short, we want to send asylum seekers to Rwanda. What, on holiday or something? No, no, permanently. To a third world country? As I keep telling you, it's a beautiful and safe country. Is it? It is now. Right, so a holiday? No, it's a deterrent. Right. So the refugees won't come here. Right. Because otherwise we'll send them to Rwanda. Right. Which is obviously an awful thing. Right. Although it's a lovely place. Right. And that will stop them. Yes. Right. How much will all this cost? Hundreds of millions so far. Ah, right. So it's going like the clappers. Bravo. Just how many of the blighters have we popped over? None. None? Well, sort of minus numbers if you count the asylum seekers we've taken in from Rwanda. So they've escaped their beautiful and safe country? Uh, yeah. So we haven't sent anyone? No, well, it's still against the law, sir. Ah, right. So we've cancelled the policy. No, we're pinning our general election hopes on it. And forgive me, Neil, it appears you might be drugged off your tits on crack cocaine or something. You appear not to be making any sense whatsoever. Try not to worry yourself too much. The PM just wants to know if he's got your support. Well, how am I supposed to support something which is illegal, doesn't work and doesn't make any sense? Uh, same way you've done with all our other policies, Sir Edwin. Fair point, but is this policy really necessary? I mean, it is dragging on a bit, isn't it? It is the will of the people, Sir Edwin. Oh, so it was in our manifesto, then, was it? Well, well it's not only... Oh. No, but it's definitely one of the people's priorities, and we should be listening to the people. Yeah, should we? <laughs> I mean, we don't listen to them for anything else, do we? I mean, besides, the public are mad. They'll say things like, Oh, asylum seekers shouldn't have any rights. Or, No, push the birds back and tip them into the icy seas. Or, Oh, shove up on the big old dirty badge and let them all hang themselves. Yeah, they? Well, people aren't saying that, sir. Yeah, well, I suppose that's some relief. Tory MPs are, sir. What? Oh, bloody hell. I suppose every political party does have its fringe crackpots baying at the moon or whatever. About a hundred of them, sir. This country desperately needs, needs an, an election. election yeah.